to the MIS, you know, for training, military language school. After I graduated uh, in July 43, they sent me to Fort Snelling in Minneapolis, you know, for just, just to wait until we could transfer it out. So September 43 was when I went to Angel Island with a bunch of Nisei boys. It was while at Angel Island while we waited for a ship that I received my 12-hour pass. From Angel Island I took a boat to San Francisco and I found my way to the 3rd Street train station. I don't know how I did it, but anyway, I took the train to, to San Jose. When you were uh... On the train, you had your uniform. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, so yeah. people yeah. didn't question. I had to have my uniform. I didn't have any Pacific uniform. <laughs> okay. But I, was, I guess I was the only Japanese in San Jose at that time. I was wondering if, if you know, people stopped you while you were on the street because no, you were Japanese. No, it was Japanese. amazing. Nobody stopped me. I guess they thought I was Chinese. You know, there were some Chinese uh, soldiers, but nobody stopped me. And I came down to San Jose and. Uh, you know the train station at Cahill, n n yeah, next, yeah. near the HP Pavilion there? Yeah. I got off the train there and walked on Santa Clara Street to 1st Street because I knew there was a bus line on 1st mm -hmm. Street going north. The bus didn't go through Japantown at all. It just went north to, towards Alviso. So I took the bus as 1st and Santa Clara, you know where that is. Mm -hmm. Went north on 1st Street and got off at Jackson. Okay. That's what we used to do anyway, you know, when we used to go downtown. Then I walked to uh, Japantown on Jackson Street. When I got to Japantown, I was shocked. No, I didn't see a single soul. I thought I might see uh, 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 Italian or uh, Filipino or Chinese, but I was the only one in Japan town walking. You know, the uh, Japanese stores were boarded up, and, you know, the windows were boarded up. And, uh, were they actually covered with wood or were they yeah, just... Yeah, I, I noticed some of the windows were, were boarded with uh, wood. Not to stop your story, I'll no, let no. you continue, but I interviewed Dr. James Chan the oh, I know him. Okay, he was in Japantown until the end of '44 before he went into the service, oh, yeah. and he could not remember seeing wood. He he said everything was closed, mm -hmm. but he couldn't remember seeing. Yeah, wood. I wouldn't say every store had right. that wood. Let's see, you might be able to confirm. Dr. Chan said he could remember that someone was operating the Dobashi store. And uh, he said he, he said he remembers seeing the door open and people inside. I didn't see a single soul. The only people I talked to was when I went around the corner on Sixth Street into to that restaurant, Cain Lo. I knew them, and they were open, you know. So, well, so as you were walking down Jackson Street, yeah. when you turned onto Sixth Street to go up to Kenyon Lo, yeah. your parents store was across the street. Yeah, across the street. Was it still the, there? Where the, where the, what do you call that yard? The yard is now? Yeah. There were a lot of buildings along that six feet on that side, mm -hmm. like grocery store, and barbershop, and Minato bathhouse. Right. Remember, yeah. And we were next to the Minato bathhouse. Uh, did so, you go across the street to your parents' store to peek in and see what it was? No, I just walked by. Kane Lowe was the only people I knew around there, so I just walked in there and said hi to uh, what we call Buta-san, uh, the Chinese a courtly guy, you know. Buta means pig, but uh, you know, he was affectionate. Everybody used to call him Buta-san. He used to laugh all the time. And I talked with him and I ordered the uh, chashu, <laughs> chashu and rice, and had lunch, you know. <laughs> When you uh, went upstairs, uh, were any of the waiters surprised to see you? I guess they were, but they didn't show it. They didn't, they show, didn't show it. And Butasan, but was he always me, in the... He knew me, Ishikawa, uh -huh. you know, because we had a store in uh -huh. Japan town. Was he, did he usually, be, he was always out of the kitchen then, he, uh, to greet well, people? No, he was inside the kitchen. I just went inside and said hi. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I walked. Oh. I was familiar with that place. 
I see. Yeah. What did he have to say? Did he have much to say about No. After I said hi and ordered my food, uh -huh. they served me. And then, but they, they wouldn't talk to me after really? that. Yeah. They wouldn't say a word. They didn't tell you about what was going on? Yeah. I didn't even... I couldn't even tell them what I was doing in San Jose or... So they never came to the, my table after that. They just but left you alone? Yeah. But, but they were civil, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah. But still, it must have been a very yeah, lonely kind of, kind feeling. Of, yeah, kind of lonely feeling. You know? So after you finished your meal at Kenyon Low, yeah, what, I, what did you do after that? I just started to go back toward downtown. I didn't know, any, I didn't know who to contact, you know. Although I did have a, a Hagujin coach when I was playing for the Zebras before the war, Everett Rosevear. But uh, I didn't know where he was or what he was doing. And all that time I didn't see a soul. You know, even uh, in Japan there used to be Italian shoe repair man. You ever hear of that? And, and I didn't even see him. Emmett, Mr. Yeah. Emmett. But so everything, everything was closed. Everything was, nobody was even yeah. operating it. I thought I would see him anyway. Did you feel disappointed that he was in Japan? Yeah, it was kind of lonely, you know. Said, Gee, where are all my friends, I was thinking. You know? and then, so I went, walked to First Street, took the bus back to First and Santa Cruz, went back to the train station, headed back to San Francisco and to Angel Island. A day later, I was on the border ship. We shipped out on Columbus Day, October 12th. Yeah, after we go out on the Golden Gate, I was one looking over there, one looking at the bridge, you know, going back. And, Jesus Christ, I hope the world gonna get back, you know. <laughs>